Did you know? A few of the components that make up the cooling system for the RX-1E are the radiator, which sits just behind the front grille, a metal plate that the controller is bolted to, which is under this front storage compartment. And then under the seat, we have the coolant pump, the overflow tank, a few fittings and tubes that go to a shell that's around your motor. So not only is the controller cooled, but also the motor on the RX-1E. This is one of the great competitive advantages we have over a lot of other electric motorcycles. You can sustain those high speeds without worrying that the motorcycle is going to govern your speed. It can handle the heat. It can handle the speed. Let's take a closer look under the seat. So under the seat, we can now see the overflow tank for the coolant, the coolant pump. And if I turn the ignition on, I'll actually start to see the pump kick into action and the coolant starts moving around. It's being circulated through that enclosed system. It is a closed system. However, if you ever needed to add coolant, if it drops below the low line, you've got the high and low, you can do so by adding it directly to the overflow tank just by unscrewing this top. If you find that your coolant level is low and need to add coolant, or if it's time for that coolant flush, I'd say 10 to 12,000 miles in, you want to make sure you use red yeah. or pink 50-50 yeah. pre-diluted mix, and you can add this straight to the cooling system, no problem. Thanks for joining in. Once again, I enjoyed showing you just how easy it is to inspect, service, and maintain the cooling system of your RX-1E. And until next time, keep it cool. Funky coma data.